Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of the Girl Be Free podcast. I'm your host, Siobhan, where I'm going to inspire and motivate you to show up for yourself. So before we jump into the episode, I just want to point out that you may notice something different in my voice. I am battling a cold. I'm very stuffy right now. Um, Hopefully I'll be back to 100% next week, but I just want to point that out. Please excuse how I sound this week, but I definitely wanted to get this episode out to you. All right, on to what I'm loving this week, which is a quote by Joseph Campbell, and it states, follow your bliss and the universe will open doors where there was only walls. And I wanted to share that quote with you because I want to challenge you to follow your bliss, follow the things that bring you joy, do the things that make you happy. And I honestly believe that the universe will begin to open up doors for you and you will begin to create the life that you want and feel fulfilled and have a certain level of peace because you're doing what brings you joy. Uh, Next up, I want to share our listener review of the week, which comes from Daphne underscore sing. And she says, OMG, love girl be free podcast. You have to have pen and paper when you listen to this podcast. It's so fulfilling and challenging. Thank you, Daphne. I really appreciate that. Um, And I do agree. I do think whenever you're listening to my podcast or you're watching me live on IG or Facebook, please have a notebook and pen because I'm always sharing something and I'm sure it's something you're going to want to revisit later. As I say week after week, please continue to share your five-star review on Apple Podcasts. You can also send me messages or what have you on IG or Facebook or Twitter Um, letting me know what you think about the podcast, and I may just share it on the upcoming episodes. All right, on to today's topic, which is you're empowered, now what? And the reason that I wanted to kind of talk about this today, and I see it all the time, where we are so empowered, we're so inspired, we feel so good when we read quotes, watch videos, listen to motivational speakers, even attend church. And then people don't do anything with what they're, with the information that they're receiving. So every day you hop on social media and you're scrolling and you see something that inspires you and you feel good in the moment, you double tap it or you like it, but then you keep scrolling until the next thing. And you do this over and over and over again. Or maybe you attend brunches, conferences, workshops, events, courses, seminars, all that jazz, and even church. You feel good. You have this emotional high. And then it's back to the same old, same old, no changes in your life whatsoever. So my challenge or my question to you is, how long will you be inspired before you show up and do something for yourself? Because you're getting empowered, you're feeling good, but there's no follow-up, there's no putting what you've just learned into action, there's no life application at all. So in actuality, you're really wasting your time and money when you attend these different events and you're getting no results, but yet you feel good. Or you can say that you went to this event, or you can say you met this person, or you took a picture with them, or you listened to their podcast, and you love the work that they're doing. You're inspired by them, but yet, what are you doing in your own life? How are you showing up for you? How long are you going to feel good and have this emotional high before you actually apply it? So this is not to call you out. I'm going to be very transparent and say, I was this person. And there's times that I'm still this person, right? Where, and I'll just share a few years ago when I was feeling stuck, several years ago, actually. And I would read all the books. I would attend church. I would listen to things online. But there was no application. And it almost was like the aha moment that Oprah talks about all the time. It's like, what are you doing? Like, yes, you feel good and you're attending all these different things or whatever, but what are you really doing? Are you really showing up for yourself 
Or are you just feeling good and on to the next thing and listening to all these people and being inspired by their work, but yet you're not doing anything? And that was so me. And I believe I heard Oprah say this, and I say it all the time, that you are 100% responsible for your life. And if you want to see changes, you have to actually change. It's not enough to feel good in the moment. Like, what are you going to do with the information? Because otherwise, and I say this frequently, it's going to be another month, another half of a year, another January, and you're stuck in the same old spot. But yet you've been liking quotes, liking videos, attending retreats and all these amazing things, but you're not doing anything with it. And let me just say, you can attend all the things, you can read all the quotes, read all the books, but it means absolutely nothing if you're not applying what you learned. And so my challenge for you this week is not just to feel good in the moment. I say this all the time. Because I know the energy that I project. I know what I put out. I know that I'm walking in my purpose. When you're around me, when you listen to me, when you're connected to me in any way, shape, or fashion, I can inspire and motivate you within five minutes of us meeting. I can challenge you to step out of your comfort zone. I know that that is what I give off. However, if you do anything with it, then you're just going to be stuck in the same old place. So my what I want for you, I want for every girl be free listener, every member, a part of the be free inner circle, who's ever a part of my be free family. I want to challenge you to start applying what you're learning. And so first I want to point out, and then I'll give you some tips. But first, first I want to point out a few reasons why people don't take action. Number one, they're too afraid to step out of their comfort zone. They're too afraid of the unknown. So it's easy to be comfortable. But when it's time to get uncomfortable, people don't want to deal with that. So they'll stay in their safe little box and stay comfortable. But yet they're complaining. They're making excuses and staying in the same stagnant place day after day. Number two, people are scared of what people will say. They're fearful of being judged or being compared to others, or they don't actually know what to do. So yes, this quote may sound good. And yes, you know, they heard a great sermon from their pastor. But now what? What do I do with the information? Number three, and I think that this is very key, is that deep down, you don't really believe that change is possible for you. You really don't believe that you can create the life you want. You don't think that it's possible. You think that other people have this magical fairy dust dust of some sorts, and you don't really believe deep in your heart that it's possible for you. I disagree with that, but I do believe that a lot of people feel that way. I believe that we all can change our lives. I think that we have enough information, enough resource, resources, enough connections, that when you really want something, you can make it happen. But my question is, do you really want it? Do you really want your life to change? Or are you really stuck and feel like no, there's no hope for you? And you have to be really honest because that's a scary feeling, right? That if you feel hopeless or you feel like change is not really possible for you and you're really honest with yourself, then that's the starting point is getting to a place where you can believe in yourself again. So here's some things that I want you to start doing when it comes to consuming information, no matter what. So if you're scrolling on social media and you come across a quote or affirmation, if you're attending an event, a retreat, church service, whatever your thing is, whatever you're doing, I want you to always carry a notebook and a pen with you. Always, always, always. I do this all the time. I never leave home without a journal. Never. And when you see a quote that really resonates with you, write it down in your notebook. When you're at a retreat or you're at a conference or an event, some type of empowerment or inspirational workshop of some sorts, 
have a notebook with you, write down what is resonating with you the most. That is what I want you to do first, to have a notebook and start jotting things down. The next thing is I want you to review your notes, review the quotes, review the things that you're writing down and think about what's one thing that I can start doing right now, right? What's one thing I can start doing right now? And actually, before you get to that, I want you to write down why this quote resonated with you or when you heard someone say something, why did that speak to you? And then I want you to figure out, okay, what do I need to do next? What do I need to do to begin to follow my bliss, right? To begin to enjoy life the way that I really desire, to begin to create the life that I want. So it's no more just listening and consuming and feeling empowered. Now is time time for you to show up and take action in your life because it's not enough to feel good. It's really time for you to get out of this place of being stagnant and existing and going through the motions. And now it's time to truly be free and live the life that you want. I'm always here to help you do that through listening to this podcast, following me on social media, because now I'm doing live broadcasting on IG and Facebook. You can follow me at Be Free Project. Of course, the members of the Be Free Inner Circle That is where you have access to me so you can ask your questions, you can get the resources, and you can begin to learn how to take action. Of course, working with me one-on-one, I have multiple different ways that you can do that as it relates to coaching. I have the resources for you. So the question is, are you going to stand up and do something or will this be another podcast that you just listen to and you go on to the next without doing anything? Um, I do want to share that I know I've been talking about on the last couple of episodes about the price of the Be Free Inner Circle increasing. And I'll just be honest with you, I haven't had time to put energy into that um, as far as like promoting that and really reminding people like I had in mind because I've been promoting my challenge, the Mindset Shift Challenge. Um, If you haven't joined that, you can definitely do so. You may be a few days behind, but you have access to the webinar that I'm going to do next week. But the price is going up for the Be Free Inner Circle, and I'm giving everyone until the end of the month to lock in the current rate. Um, So if you've been wanting to join the Be Free Inner Circle and get grandfathered in at the current discounted rate, definitely take advantage of that at BeFreeInnerCircle.com. I promise you at the end of the month, the rate is going up. The resources that I'm giving, I'm going above and beyond and really pouring into women. And because I'm giving so much value and so much amazing resources and the community support from women all over the world, the price is going to increase a little bit. Not a lot, but it will increase. Again, if you haven't checked out the Be Free Inner Circle, go to BeFreeInnerCircle.com. My goal, again, is always to be transparent and authentic in what I do. And at the end of the day, I want to empower you. I want to inspire you. And I want to motivate you to take action and show up. And I'm going to continue to be that resource. But at the end of the day, you have to show up for yourself. So your action step for this week is to simply buy a notebook, buy a journal, and start to capture and write down the information that you're learning from podcasts, attending events. And this way you have everything in one place. You can read over your notes. There's power when you write things down, pen to paper. And then now you have something that you can reflect over and start to take action. All right, next up, I'm highlighting dope women doing dope things. And this week, I want you to follow an IG account that I just learned about yesterday called The Body a home for love. And it says, we curate restorative healing experiences for sexually traumatized survivors of color. And this page is founded by Dion Ivory. Um, and she is one of the co-founders of Black Girl and Ohm. And so right now, she just started this page. And I think it's beautiful because we do need to have more conversations from for people who have dealt with sexual trauma. And so she's creating this visual experience. And also she has a Kickstarter um, where they're raising money to do more work. So check out the page. I will link to it in the show notes. Um, and I'm excited to continue to highlight 
dope women doing dope things. So if you feel like there's someone that I should know or I should mention on a podcast, just let me know by sending me a DM on IG or Facebook, or you can email me at hello at BeFreeProject.com or hello at GirlBeFree.com. And um, yeah, we can chat about it there. And I would love to highlight some of the people that you feel I should know about and that are doing dope things in the community and making a difference in the world. So that is everything that I have for you this week. Again, don't forget to share, snap a picture of this episode and share it on IG stories, Facebook, or Twitter. Feel free to tag me at Be Free Project. Please leave a review if you're enjoying what you're listening to on Apple Podcasts. Five stars would be amazing. And until next time, girl, be free.